G'day guys, it's Alex here, Victor Kilo 2 Papa Radio Charlie over here in Australia. I've been thinking lately about receiving and transmitting in urban areas. Here we're looking at a set of uh, solar panels on a roof, and most of the uh, houses in my street have these. And there's all sorts of electrical appliances, plasma TVs that create problems to my RX. And look, I have a couple of antennas up here in the back here at home. I'm not a big um, home operator, but I do have um, a, a, uh, a horizontal antenna there. You can probably see it just a horizontal, which is happens to be a, a two element uh, wire beam that I use for, um, for, for the radio here at home. And over here on the side of the fence next to my little shack, I've got a vertical antenna, a half wave end fed vertical. And I find that the half wave end fed vertical is the best transmitting antenna by far, especially for DX. And I find that the horizontal antenna is in fact a lot quieter for the, um, for the receive. So I thought to myself, can I make a, an antenna changeover box that would operate automatically between my receiving horizontal antenna and my transmitting vertical antenna. And I want it to operate completely automatic every time I press the PTT. So I sat down and I did a bit of a design and uh, let's have a look at what I've come up with. Okay, let's have a look at the concept of what I'm talking about here. We've got two antennas, a transmitting antenna, which in my case is the vertical, and a receiving antenna, in my case, which is a horizontal. So the whole idea is to incorporate a, a box with a relay in the box that will automatically change over from transmit to receive, two different antennas. And the way that I want this particular relay to automatically change over is every time I press the PTT. So press the PTT, relay changes to the transmit antenna, let the PTT off, relay changes back to the receive antenna. Okay, so out of the radio comes our our uh, signal, um, our RF signal from the TR socket. And the whole thing's gonna be powered by the 24 volts coming out of pin C on the audio socket of the 320. So the whole thing is self-contained. Very easy um, and very simple. So all we've got is a box with, um, with some, with some uh, BNC connectors and a short lead that jumps down to the TR socket and on an audio cable that plugs into the spare audio socket that will give us the, uh, the 24 volts to run the whole thing. Pretty easy. So let's see what I've come up with. Okay, after much scribbling on paper, <laughs> version one, two, three, etc., etc., we finally come up with the, uh, the final version on how to make this particular project. So you'll see here we've got our RX antenna, TX antenna, B and C uh, co connectors on the box. There's three of them, two for the antennas and one over here that goes to the radio. We've got ourselves a relay inside and some electronic components that will, will sense the signal from the radio when you hit the PTT and automatically change over the relay. So let's have a look at the actual components that I've selected to build this, this uh, circuit diagram before we go on, on how it works. So basically, here we go from pin, pin this goes to pin C on the, on the spare audio socket, gives you the 24 volts to power the whole thing. I've run it through a, a one amp fuse to protect things using a nice 24 volt um, single changeover a, a relay, a very small one, PC mounted one. I've got myself a, a diode here uh, as a freewheeling diode to relax the, um, the, the relay very quickly after the en energy is taken off it so that it, uh, it drops back out quite quickly. The whole thing is controlled by a switching transistor, which is a BC547. Very easy to get this transistor. I could buy this at the electronics store down the street. We've got some um, resistors, 2.2K, an electrolytic capacitor here, 47 microfarad, 25 volts. And we've got some, some diodes, IN4148 diodes. There's three of them, one here, one here, and the three-wheeling diodes, one as well. And lastly, um, to isolate this from the um, from the, the RX, we've got an eight picofarad silver mica capacitor, a 500 volt one. Very, very important to get the, uh, the high voltage happening on that particular uh, capacitor. So let's just now have a look at, um, at how the circuit actually operates. So when we hit the PTT, um, 
what happens is we get the transmitted signal from the from the radio coming up to the box um, on the, from the TR socket. As soon as the the signal appears, it's detected by by electronic uh, circuit, and we've got our RF coming down here, um, isolated across our little little silver mica capacitor, rectified through our diodes, and it pumps up this little electrolytic capacitor up to full charge. And when that gets up to full charge, which is pretty well instantaneously, um, it turns on the little transistor here, and the little transistor uh, switches on and energizes the relay through there. Relay picks up, changes over the contacts so that the thing instantaneously changes to the transmit antenna. Now, the, the purpose of this little capacitor here is to store enough energy so that when we pause between sentences and words when we're speaking, there's enough energy in this capacitor to keep the little transistor turned on. So the relay's not continually clicking away every time you take a breath. And it works very, very well. I found the 47 microfarad is the ideal value um, just to hold the, uh, the relay in between sentences and a slight pause at the end when you, when you switch off, which is not inconvenient at all. Okay, so basically that's how it all works. It's a pretty simple little design and uh, it works extremely well. So let's have a bit of a look at, at what I've actually made. Okay, here's my little box. And I've, um, I've got myself, I'm st still in the, in, in the creating stage here, of making myself, this is a little black plastic um, adapter plate that's going to bolt onto the top of the, um, of the 320. You'll see the, um, the four outside uh, bolts there. They'll go onto the four bolt holes on the, on, the, on the top of the 320. And the little box will bolt on in here. So it'll, it'll adapt nicely onto the radio. So here we've got the, uh, the socket for the TR. It goes from here which is a short little jumper that just goes around the back into the uh, TR socket. And here we connect our two antennas. Looking inside, you'll see the little relay that I, that I, that I used. And by the way, I, I bought most of my components um, on AliExpress. I find them very, very good for electronic components. They're very cheap. I bought the little fuse holder from AliExpress. I bought the fuses from AliExpress. I bought the little relay, which is a 24 volt relay, PC mounted. Um, the little transistor here I got down the road, these little uh, Vero board and Vero board connectors I bought at the electronic shop down the road, the little resistors and, um, and capacitors I, I, I bought from the electronic shop down the road. But the, the silver mica um, capacitor, I had to order that. I, th I forget whether I got that on eBay or, or AliExpress, one of the two. But look, I do remember having to order that. It was a little bit difficult to buy down the road. They didn't sell the, the high voltage capacitors like that. And here, um, I built the whole thing on a small piece of Vero board. It took me only a couple of hours to build that and solder all the components on. And uh, it works extremely well. So next thing I'll do is I'll, I'll jump up on the radio that I've got up in my little shed up the back and I'll connect it up and we'll do a little bit of a demo on, on how it works. But um, I, I've already done uh, the test work with it and I'm, I'm finding it very, very exciting. It works extremely well and it's so simple. And look, whether you're using a vertical and a, um, and a horizontal or a, a vertical and a mag loop for perhaps receive, there's any, any sorts of combinations between transmitting and receiving antennas that you want to use will work quite fine. It's up to you on the conditions that you live in, where you're at, what the re best receiving antenna and the best transmitting antenna are. But for 20 meters where I do most of my work, I find the 20 meter half wave end fed vertical the best option for me for DXing and for receiving. It, it, it's a little bit uh, obvious here at home that the horizontal receives at least one S point better and, and quieter. So using this little box, we can, we could, um, well, we could get the advantages of both the antennas happening automatically <laughs> and very, very simple. And because this particular box bolts directly to the top of your radio, you can take it out in the field. You don't need any extra power supplies to run it. Um, just put up a receiving and a transmitting air antenna anywhere. Uh, for the receiving antenna, all you need is just a long wire. You don't even need a 50 ohm antenna. So uh, there, there's some food for thought. Let's get it on the air and have a quick look.
Okay, for this test, I've, I'm just using my <laughs> my Mark One DDS converted radio that I happen to have up in, um, in my little shed in the backyard. And what I've done, I've connected up the um, the spare audio socket on the radio there uh, to supply the 12 volts. So I've just plugged that in, and I've got a a, a BNC to BNC cable joining the um, the box to the TR socket. And here on the front, I've got two antennas: the receiving antenna. And the, uh, and the transmitting antenna, and you're probably hearing the receiving antenna at the moment. I've got the radio selected on ANT, so when I hit the, um, the PTT on the handset, it's going, to, um, it's going to tune up on the reflector meter, and it's also going to change over the relay to the transmitting antenna, and you'll hear the click. So here we go. I'll do it again. So you can hear the little relay clicking in and clicking out. Okay, so I've already cleared this particular frequency, so I'll put a call out and we'll see how, how we go. So we're transmitting on a vertical and listening on the horizontal. Uh, ah, better turn it on to uh, high power first. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, this is Victor Kilo, 2 Papa Radio Charlie, calling CQ, CQ, CQ. Looking for any station. Victor Kilo 2, Papa Radio Charlie, calling CQ, CQ, CQ. Looking for any station. Over. Okay, so you didn't hear any clicking of the relay in and out while I was talking, so the little capacitor was keeping the transistor switched on between uh, the end of sentences and the beginning of the next. So there it is. It's working extremely well extremely well. I couldn't be happier with the project and it's such a simple project. I can't wait to get the right <laughs> the screws that I've ordered to uh, to mount the little plate on the top and uh, and get it sitting in here on, on a permanent uh, in a permanent manner. But uh, a very 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 easy little project to make. I've done all of all of the calculation and all the working out for you. Um, I would suggest if you're living in an urban area and you've got problems with um, with noisy RX and then you've got uh, solutions in, in, in the way of using some sort of a vertical mag loop or, or delta loop or something that's uh, a better antenna for receiving and you sort of in love with your vertical for, for transmitting because of its low angle of radiation and uh, longer reaching legs so to speak for DX then this particular little project I would absolutely um, recommend to make a couple of hours on the bench and um, yeah, gain the results of being able, able to operate your clansmen a little bit more successfully and more enjoyably in an urban area. Might try a bit later and see if I can grab a station on the air. Okay, we've got an Italian station, uh, IK4GRO Laro. He's, uh, he's quite a, a regular on the uh, 20 meter beam. I'll try and give him a call next. Oh, this is Victor Kilo to Papa Radio Charlie. Good to hear you, Laro. Haven't spoken for a little while. It's Alex here, mate. Over. Uh, other stations are. Happy New Year, Laro. Catch you again. 73. Okay, uh, catch you again. Catch you again, uh, uh, Alex. Kill over again. India, kill four. Gold. Radio Oscar. Mikhail, Zanel, Pacific Area. No. Okay. Uh, Alex, you're on the air. Uh, Alex, you're on the air. 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 Alex, I'm hearing him a lot quieter on a very noisy band here this afternoon, so I would have to say that's a, that's a pretty good sign for a very successful project. Look, um, there's a couple of other things that I've mentioned in this video along the line. Um, there's um, the antenna um, that I'm using as my vertical here, half-waved N-fed vertical for 20 metres. Um, I've got projects on that up on YouTube if you want to go and have a look. Look up my call sign, VK2PRC. And you'll find my channel it's got lots and lots of videos on lots and lots of projects for these uh, 320s and a lot of repair tips as well 
Um, yeah, so there you go. This is Victor Kilo 2, Papa Radio Charlie, saying 73 guys. And um, if anybody out there wants to take on this particular project, by all means, if you've got any problems, send me an email as usual, and uh, I'm always here to answer, answer those questions. Catch us all on, on the air. This is Victor Kilo 2, Papa Radio Charlie, saying 73.